And staying in the Middle East, the video of the brutal killing of American journalist James Foley by Islamic State militants continues to spark international outrage. President Barack Obama has condemned the alleged murder, saying the U.S. will continue the fight against the militant group. Meanwhile, it's been revealed that U.S. Special Forces tried but failed to free American hostages in Syria earlier this year, including Foley. Our Connie Lee reports. A spokesperson for the Pentagon has revealed that the United States attempted a rescue operation in Syria earlier this summer, not only to free U.S. journalist James Foley, but also other American hostages being held in Syria by Islamic State militants. It was a secret, major rescue operation launched by U.S. Special Forces against the Islamic State. The Pentagon statement on Wednesday said the operation involved air and ground components, but did not succeed because the hostages were not present at the targeted location. This new information came as the U.S. launched a wave of new airstrikes against Islamic State targets in Iraq. On the same day, President Barack Obama, in a televised statement, said the U.S. will be relentless in the fight against the militant group following the brutal murder of Mr. Foley. President Obama, who said he was heartbroken over the incident, said the U.S. will do what's necessary to see that justice is done. He also compared the militant group to cancer whose spread must be stopped. The president's message came less than a day after the militants released a video of the American journalist being beheaded. The Islamic State is believed to be holding several American hostages, including journalist Stephen Sotloff. Connie Lee, Arirang News.